guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm explaining with you guys the best bike rack that you guys can get. Hey guys, so this is the Shingleback, which is an Australian made bike rack. Now, my mates and I can all go hit the trails. So we're now going to pull the Shingleback together using the instructions that were given to us in the packaging and we teach you how to build it along the way. Hey guys, step one, let's get to unpacking. So the second step, you have to place this bar upside down and now, according to this, it says that the sticker side of the centre post has to face the bungee loops. Okay guys, so the third step now is screwing the centre post in place. So, now what we want to do is find the dome head, to so find the three dome head screws and what we want to do is we want to have the dome part of the screw going in facing the sticker. So make sure you put the other side through first. First screw, remember, the dome faces so, uh, the sticker. So pull that all the way in, nice all the way through. And now the washer goes on the other side first. So the washer, which is this circular part looking like a donut, goes through first and then you have the nut which goes on them after that. Screw it on, all three of them, and you guys will be set. All right, guys, so we now have our four bolts and our two backing plates. So that's step four. And what we're going to do, we want this to be nice and level with that. All right? So what we're going to do, we want to get something about the height of a milk crate. So I've gone ahead and grabbed a milk crate. Now I'm going to pull this over just nicely so it balances very evenly and rests on top of the milk crate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on top and I have to measure it at 7 10. Okay guys, I've just finished doing that now so let's get to the next one. Right, so the backing plate will go on first. Make sure it goes across way the same way that this bottom base is going. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it on and then we're going to tie up the nuts. Alright guys, so I've pulled it on at 710, which is 710 millimetres. Nicely done, nice balance. I've put my bolts in, now I can get ready to screw it together. Hey guys, I've just picked this up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this all together and if your bike ends up being too big or too small, you can adjust it any time. But 710 is the average size for a bike in between wheel width, or length, whatever you guys like to say. Alright guys, so I've just finished tying it up. Make sure you make them really nice and tight, otherwise this will come loose and you really, got, you really don't want to make your bike fall off. Okay guys, so part of step 7, we now have these two pieces that were jam tied together. They were pretty tough to get apart, but once we finally got them apart, we lined them up perfectly, matched them in with our car, and now we're going to put one bolt in, we're going to screw it up, and also, now we can line the other one up. Okay guys, I've just put this one in here, so now I'm going to screw it on with the nut and washer, and now I'm also, now after this, after I've screwed it all on, I can choose where I want this angle to be, so there's three different options you can choose from. I'm probably going to choose the middle one, just so it's nice and straight with the car, and we're going to put it on right after this. Right, so I'm going to go get my, I'm going to get my dad's help to put the uh, shingle back on because it is very heavy and I am not strong enough. Okay, guys. So what we're doing is we're lining this up like this. Make sure it ropes like that at the back. Like this facing away from the car goes in there you go hey guys i'm gonna put it on the rack now and i'll show you guys how we do it so 
So you've got to move your bike so it's in place with a little curve. And then you just grab your own strap through your tire and pull it down all the way to the little bolt under here. There you go, that's one done. Make sure you get your tire in here though. Get a little orange bit out of the way. Your tire in there. Other tire up nicely in this little bit up here. Nicely sat in that. And so now if you get another one, tie it in, pull. There we go. Now our bike is done on the rack. Now I can go hit the trail. Okay Let's guys, go. thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I really hope that it helped you. Next video I'll post the trails I'm about to go hit. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching.